Hey guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today we are back out here on the Cricket uh, this weekend. We're going to be doing more wiring, so uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll show you what we're going to work on, and then at the end, we'll show you what we got completed. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so the other thing, uh, so this is what we're going to be working on here is uh, we're going to continue working on the EIS system here and the Garmin, get those two terminal blocks. I have a whole set of terminal blocks right over there, so these wires will tend to go over there, and then we'll start wiring that up. Uh, we do have a couple more terminals over here that I need to work out, uh, so we have the outside air temperature and so on, but I need to get these routed. So I ordered a few more Adele clamps that we can uh, go ahead and start fishing these wires along and then along here and then over to this. Um, and then those will get connected over here for the EIS. Uh, then we got to work out the uh, connectors for this onto all their terminal blocks and then we'll go from there. So I think next we'll work on the G175 and the EFIS and start getting those uh, to their blocks. And if we have to, I can add another, uh, maybe some L angles here with some terminal blocks right there so we can have a few more if need be. So I did order a few more of those. So that's the plan, guys. We're going to keep working and uh, see how far we can get today. All right, guys. So I think we're going to be calling it for today. We got, uh, it doesn't look like we got a lot done, uh, but we actually did. Um, most of the EIS or EFIS uh, at this point, uh, the um, most of my EFIS now is wired. I got my two cables coming out of that uh, run through here. And um, we have some of the cables that are up here are some serial ports that need to go to other items over here. Um, and then the audio as well, which needs to go into the comm radio. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we have gotten most of this all cleaned up. Um, have a couple more ties that I need to tie off and uh, kind of clean up just a little bit more here. Uh, but for the most part, everything is now reconnected. Uh, the EFIS or EIS, the engine monitoring is pretty much all wired, uh, minus the right wing. The left wing is all done. And, uh, then we're just going to run these last serial cables and then we'll get these all tied up nice and neat. Um, the ERINC, which is the converter box for the Garmin 175, uh, we've gotten the EFIS side is now wired. We got to clean up these wires and uh, tie them up. Um, we do have it already to the power and the negative, and we will, like I said, clean these wires up as well. And then that'll get mounted right back here uh, once we get the 175 also connected to it, which most of those wires are all right here. We just need to finish doing that connection. So may not look like a lot guys but uh this is that stage where things just seem to take longer now one of the things that i did complete uh today is we do have the new um throttle uh linkage uh reconnected in here uh may need to pull take away some of this tightness here give it a little bit of slack um so we'll loosen that and then pull that through just a little bit uh but we also have the other side uh, reconnected over here as well. So that is all now back together uh, and uh, tied down. We will zip tie these, um, but yeah, so that's all done and that's all connected back in there again. So I like that. It's nice, uh, clean install for the throttle. Uh, still waiting on my uh, the starter. That'll be here tomorrow. Thank you, Alyssa at uh, Viking Aircraft for getting that to me so quickly. Uh, but that will be here tomorrow, uh, Monday. So next week we will finish the alternator, alternator and the uh, uh, starter connections. Get that all finished and completed. Um, we do have the alt field uh, wired up. Uh, that is there. We'll get the starter in. We'll get this in and we'll be good to go. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much where we're going to end it for today. Um, but we are moving forward and uh, I'll be out here next week to continue working on that wire and see if we can't finish the rest of that. And then we still still need to pull that wire in through the back um, and the power from the battery. Then we'll wire everything up. I will disconnect the ECU 
and verify all of the power before that ECU is connected. And we'll do one item at a time, make sure everything is good to go uh, before we just power it up and fry everything. So, but we shouldn't. Uh, I am going to double check all my wiring before we finish, tie everything off really nicely, and then uh, we'll be ready to go. So we're rocking and rolling, guys. So there you go, guys. We are working on it, and we're getting things done. Uh, again, like I said, doesn't look like a lot at this point, but this is that stage where it, things just seem to take uh, longer to actually start seeing any progress. But we are moving forward. We're getting one wire at a time, and uh, we'll be getting it, uh, getting this all buttoned up uh, probably in the next two, three weeks or so, we should be getting this buttoned up for the most part, and then we'll be ready to, uh, to, to move forward, get everything powered. Uh, we can test out the fuel senders on the fuel tanks, make sure those are functioning the way they should, uh, feed into the engine. Uh, we'll get the center console rewired back up, and then we can start rigging. So um, we're moving forward, guys. We're getting there. And uh, anyways, that's where we are. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Uh, like, subscribe if you'd like. If not, it's okay. It is what it is. All right, guys, keep building, keep flying. See you next time.